Hi, I'm Laura with the Canadian Museum of Nature, and here with me today is Dr. Steve Kumba, paleobiologist, and we're here today to talk about a very fierce prehistoric shark called Megalodon. You may have heard about it, it's starring in a thriller movie called The Meg, and it's also featured in the books that Steve authored for children, and I'm very excited to hear about this animal. It had a jaw that could fit a T-Rex skull, um, and many other cool things to say about it. It was it was huge, and really the size of a school bus. Laura, this tooth is a, an actual megalodon fossil. This was found off George's Bank in Nova Scotia by a scallop dragger back in the 1960s. It came up in the net, but you can see the hard enamel, and again the serrations, but really small ones. And that's one of the differences between uh, the great white and the meg. And in a megalodon jaw, there would have been 300 teeth, more or less. Uh, and uh, not all quite this big, but uh, still a pretty, uh, pretty fierce uh, creature. They ate whales for lunch. Everybody knows what a great white shark is and, and does. They are scary creatures. And if you can imagine something maybe three times the size of the largest great white shark known, and that would be a pretty, uh, pretty fierce uh, creature. And we only have the teeth because the skeletons are cartilage. For the most part, cartilage does not harden up like bone, and uh, it just disappears. It rots, it rots away, and particularly in an oceanic environment where it would have died. So, Steve, why did megalodon die out? Well, Laura, from a combination of, of facts, one is probably climate change. Ocean currents changed considerably when North and South America became joined by the Isthmus of Panama uh, a few million years ago. And so that changed ocean currents a lot. The other thing was the fact that we had development of, of super predators in the form of packs of killer whales. They're mammals, of course, and they had big brains, but more to the point, they worked cooperatively to hunt down whales and other things. And Megalodon, being a, a solitary predator roaming the seas, was kind of shut out by climate and competition. So before humans, as we know them, ever walked the earth, Megalodon was part of the fossil record. Well, I gotta say, I'm glad that I don't have to worry about Megalodon the next time I go to a beach. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for joining us for this Nature Scoop. Until next time.